Hey guys, one more thing I want to tell y'all. Um, first of all, stay with me and we're going to make this um, jalapeno popper dip together. It's a hot baked dip and it's so very good because I tasted a little bit in the corner. Yes, I did. I'm covering it up to keep it warm. I'm going to take it to a little party with me. Yes, but something I wanted to, what was I getting on? Oh, I want to tell y'all, um, if you're watching me on YouTube, I post the recipe, or I've, I've started doing that. Some of my older ones aren't that way, but I'm posting the recipe in the description of the video for you, okay? So go to the description down below, and I'll post the recipes for you. And I know some of my older videos aren't going to have that, but maybe during the winter, when maybe after Christmas, I can get on there and add that on there in the descriptions, okay? So I just want to let y'all know that because I'm trying to start doing that for you so y'all can have the recipe. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. I have been piddling around the house today doing clothes and cleaning and straightening and a little decorating, you know, all that good stuff we do some days. <laughs> And uh, before I get dressed, I've got a little Christmas party to go to tonight. It's Sherry's house. Hey, Sherry. And um, she's always sweet and has us over. And we exchange a few little, a little gift. And um, it's usually a big group of girls. But of course, because of this lovely little year, it's just going to be a few of us girls. But that's okay. We'll still have it anyway. And we won't do it very long, but we're going to do it. And we're all, we all just take a little um, appetizer, some kind of little food to eat, so we can just have heavy hors d'oeuvres, as you call it. And um, this dip I'm going to take this time, I want to do it before I got dressed for the party because um, I'll get it all over me. <laughs> so I have to do it before, so I thought I'll hop on here with y'all before I get dressed and we'll, we'll make this. I call it um, jalapeno popper dip. So it's everything that I put into a jalapeno popper, um, including a couple of other extra things. And uh, so anyway, that's the dip. And so first thing we start with is two eight ounce bricks of softened cream cheese. And I've got me a bowl, a pampered chef bowl that I've had for a million years. And we're gonna put this in here if I can get them open. I put me some Press on little fingernails. So y'all see Amy's on the struggle bus now. <laughs> right. Oh goodness, let me get some scissors, y'all. I uh I learned that little tip from another hard working gal, my friend Paula. She's lots of our friends and she told me about these little press on nails and a lot of y'all are always complimenting my nails. Now, I probably wonder how in the world do I have a farm and work on the farm and have pretty nails. Well, I don't. <laughs> These are just little press-on nails. See them? I don't know if y'all can see them. And you get them at Walmart, the dollar store, wherever you want to. And they've come a long way since when we were kids doing press-ons. They, uh, they stay on pretty good, even with me on the farm. They do. So that's my little tip, my little easy tip. Your hands can still look like a working girl, and just stick these on before you go do something. And mine will last a few days, actually. Okay, two bricks of eight ounces of softened cream cheese, so that's 16 ounces. And I've got me a fork to kind of soften it on up like that, y'all. Yes, I do. And this is one of those dips that you can make it whatever you want, seriously. Um, I do make homemade jalapeno poppers, and John and I fry them outside in the fish cooker, Woo, and they're good. But um, And I've added some more stuff that I normally just put in my jalapeno poppers, too. I've got one 8-ounce, um, no, 4-ounce little jar of chopped pimentos as well and I did drain them as y'all can see we'll put those in there that'll put make a nice little flavor in one I know I know let's see um I'm going to put half a cup of sour cream I hope everybody can see this 
I tell you, it's tough with two cameras ago, and you're <laughs> y'all over the place. Let's see here, guys. About a half a cup of sour cream. I hope y'all got a few close friends y'all can get together with safely. I know safely is a loose term. I know it is these days, truly. But anyway, anyway, I think I saw that on Facebook the other day. Um, now, Gina, my friend Gina, was telling me that something about these days have gotten to where we're so afraid of dying, we're, we're too scared to live, or something like that. And I thought, oh, goodness, that is where we are. Isn't that sad? That's sad. <laughs> okay, guys. As y'all see, I'm mixing and mixing here. And I've got some ranch dressing mix. I know y'all seen this for years and years, huh? It's just a fantastic little one-stop shop, like I'm always saying. It's got onion and garlic and parsley. Just good stuff in it, so it'll be a good little addition. I don't normally put this in my jalapeno poppers, but you know what? I might in the future. <laughs> I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there, because I don't want to overpower everything. I still want to taste everything else. Y'all know what I mean? Yeah. All right, guys. I'm down to chopping. We got chopped. These are some pickled jalapenos from our garden this year that I do for John. And y'all see, I use them a lot too for other stuff. But um, I am going to do about a cup or a cup and a quarter chopped. And I'm going to save that quarter basically or just a few. I'll put a few little jalapenos on top so everybody will know what, we're, what, what they're about to dig into and eat. So, I was trying to come up with a measurement for y'all before I got on here because I usually don't measure, just making a dip, so you can do as many as you want to. And you can go on and buy you some pickled jalapenos. They seem to be, once you pickle them, they're a little more mild and not quite as hot. Or you can buy some fresh ones and you can take a few of the seeds out. You kind of know what you like hotness-wise, right? They are just dropping everywhere. Y'all come here. Y'all come here. Okay, y'all, that was a half a cup. I'm going to get... Woo, I'm breathing in this jalapeno juice. I can smell it all the way up here. It's, it's almost warm when I breathe it in. <laughs> wow. Wow. Have y'all seen all the commercials these days where um, everybody's just... Uh, FaceTiming their grandparents or their loved ones and sending them presents in the mail. Did y'all ever think we were going to be seeing this sort of stuff? I didn't need y'all. I truly didn't. But here we are. Okay, guys. I should have put me, slipped me a little glove on to chop these home. I sure should have. I'm trying not to touch them too much. I'm trying to get them laid out there so I can chop away. And I've got the oven preheated to 375 degrees. I hope y'all saw my white trash video where I talked about that Christmas star that's going to be in the northwestern sky. Um, a lot of you did. A lot of you told me a little more information. Um, like it's going to be within an hour after sunset. So not late at night. So you, to be able to see the two planets lining up together or for what we can see lining up together and it's what has become known as the christmas star because it's in the same area it hadn't happened in 18 years but it's where it would have shown over the little manger in bethlehem where jesus was born so i think that's neat it hadn't happened in 800 years and hopefully we're all gonna make it till december 21st and be alive to see that so Y'all look in the northwestern sky just after sunset on December 21st, and you're supposed to be able to see it if we've got a nice, clear, clear night. So we're going to pray for a clear night. Okay, guys, I've got that chopped up. The jalapenos. And I'm going to slide these off in here. Some red jalapenos in here would be real pretty, but that's why I put that on. Um, those chopped pimentos, so they look red and green. Christmassy. Christmassy. 
see. That's a word, isn't it? Christmas Eve. I say it all the time. I hope it's a word. Oh my goodness, this is already looking good, y'all. <laughs> we, we've only just begun. Okay, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Let me get some salt. Because we've got that things we're putting in there, the cream cheese and such. We just need like a pinch of salt. Nothing, nothing crazy. And something else I didn't get out, y'all. I was saying I was going to get everything out before I got on here with y'all. And I did not with some smoked paprika. That's going to be good in here, too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And I do put that in my jalapeno tacos. Yes, I do. And to play on that smoked paprika, some bacon. Bacon is smoked, and it tastes very good. It complements in here. I'm going to do a half a cup of, and I get these at Sam's Club. This big old bag is real inexpensive at Sam's. And it's called real crumbled bacon, and it truly is. It's um, real. They're not crispy bits, okay? It's chewy. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, those imitation bacon bits, I guess you could use it, but I don't believe it'd be quite as good. Do y'all put about a half a cup in there? It's getting yummier and yummier, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, guys. Hope y'all can see. It's getting yummier and yummier. And I forgot my cheese. It's in my outside refrigerator. I'm going to get some shredded cheddar. I'm going to go get it and get back on here with y'all. Um, how much is it? Two cups of shredded cheddar, okay? Let me turn y'all off. I'm going to go grab it, and I'll get right back on here with y'all. Okay, guys. I'm back. <laughs> um, we're going to need two cups of shredded cheddar. You can put whatever cheese you want to, but I love cheddar and cream cheese and jalapeno popper, so I'm kind of sticking to my jalapeno popper thing. You could put cheddar jack. You could put um, the Mexican blend cheeses. I mean, you, you can see how you can do this any way you want to. Um, two cups of shredded cheddar or like an eight ounce bag of shredded cheddar, okay? And this is a 16 ounce bag, so I'm going to do about half of that. Yeah, and then I'm going to save a little bit because we're going to sprinkle that on top later too, yeah, be even better. Now, it's getting harder and harder to mix, y'all. <laughs> Yummy. I think it look it tastes good if you just put it in a dip the chip in it right now, I do believe. Hmm, I sure do. You get some of my mess out of the way, y'all. And get our casserole dish over here. I think this one's maybe like a it's not a nine by thirteen. Maybe it's a ten by eight, eight by ten. I don't know. It's a picture. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can do it as thin as you want in a baking dish or as thick as you want. Um, you could even put it in a um, to-go container that you can bake in, you know, those little foil containers. That way, if you're taking it somewhere, you don't have to get it. You can leave it if you want. I'll make sure I'm getting everything from the bottom. My cream cheese is on the bottom. Let's turn it up. Turn it up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. I wonder if y'all can see that good. Um, y'all know I got to show you. You see how it's got the red and green? It looks good, doesn't it? Red and green speckles all in it from the jalapenos and the pimentos. Doesn't that look? It looks quite festive and Christmassy, doesn't it? It does, I know. Okay. Okay, get it all out of here. No, no, we got to get that spatula in here. No waste. Why in the world would we want to waste some of that dip? I do not know. I have no idea why we would. All right, y'all. My air conditioner just clicked on. Isn't that crazy? Louisiana weather, isn't it? <laughs> it's cold one day, hot one day, freezing one day. And you need shorts on one day, you just don't know. Don't pack up all your 
your summer clothes in Louisiana during the winter because you're going to need them here and there throughout. Y'all see I'm just moving this around in this little container. You can really see the red green specks now. I'm going to bring it back. i got to bring it back to y'all. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Let me get that off here. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven. See the red and green? Oh, so pretty. Put this in the oven 375 for 20 minutes. And in 15 minutes... I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to sprinkle some fried onions. I know y'all know these from what, the 70s? Mm, they're yummy too. Yes, they are. I have seen all over the internet fried jalapenos, which would be fabulous on this. But guess what? Here in my little country town, no fried jalapenos yet. It'll take a little while and we'll get them. So anyway, fried onions, they'll be good too. They'll be good too. Um, so I'm going to do that the last five minutes when it's baking uncovered. So they'll get crispy and warm. And I'll probably sprinkle some more bacon bits and a little more cheese. But y'all know I'll come on here with y'all and do that with you. Um, right now, while this is baking, I got to go get dressed. <laughs> So I'll see y'all back in a little bit and we'll put the toppings on there and let it bake the last five minutes. And then um, then I'm going to be gone. Gone, gone, gone. Go see my girlfriends. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I was grabbing me a bath. And when I got out of the tub, I could hear my alarm going off. So... On my oven so it's been in the oven 15 or so minutes I don't know. <laughs> maybe 15 maybe 20 who knows but it still looks very 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 good y'all can't hear it but it's bubbling and it's got the red and green specks showing on top I love it all right y'all let's see here I was going to put some more cheddar over here just a sprinkle, just to show everybody kind of what's in there. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all do, don't you? Let's see. I'm going to sprinkle some more bacon bits to show everybody. Just a little. Just a few like that. Everybody can see what's going on. And some of these fried little onions, like I say, if you find the fried little jalapenos, will be even better. It's going to be good either way, isn't it? I know. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this box, but I don't want to cover the whole thing. I'll come up with something, won't I? Yes, I will. I'll probably make this again for our family Christmas. That's what we're doing this year, just heavy hors d'oeuvres. This is smoked paprika, guys. Y'all know i got to do that. Plus, it's a little red, so it looks festive. All right, y'all. Back into the oven about five minutes. This time I'm not going to be back in the tub, so I know I'll hear my alarm this time. <laughs> oh, y'all. Uh. All right, guys. See y'all in five minutes. Chickens, 
John is going, what's great is we're all good friends, Chance and Brittany and John and I are all good friends. So John and Chance are having a man's, a man date tonight. Uh, Chance is cooking them steaks. So they're having a good supper tonight. And then Britt and I are going over to Sherry's house. So we're all having a good night. And then we'll all meet for lunch tomorrow after church. So, okay, guys. <laughs> I don't want to burn my mouth off. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. Well, you can really taste the smoky and the bacon. Mmm. It's not hot with all those jalapenos, but I did use the pickled jalapenos, so remember that, okay? Remember that part, too. I'm going to scoot that part I wanted to show y'all. A lot of y'all send me lots of sweet little cards, and y'all even send me sweet little messages and little prayer requests, and I love it all. Um, Miss Beth from Georgia sent me some onion goggles. Mm. Now, these are some good-looking things, aren't they? Look, I think I bet they work. Next time I slice onions, I'm going to see, because I'm always crying on here when I'm chopping onions with y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. And then Jamie, I just went and checked the mail earlier today. Jamie from Mississippi sent me a sweet, sweet little note. I save all my little notes and I put them down in my candy kitchen. I'm going to get me a little pegboard to put them on because I love them all and I love to read them occasionally. Um, but she sent me this. It's a scarf and it's got these sweet little towels on the end that say blessed. It's homemade. It's got sunflowers on the scarf. It says home sweet home. And it is just beautiful. And you can just be cooking along, wipe your hands, and drop a towel like the Queen of Sheba cooking. <laughs> I love it. I showed John and he said, oh, it could be a scarf too. So I said, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm ready to go to my Christmas party, guys. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Y'all take care. Oh, something else I wanted to tell y'all. Y'all knew I wasn't getting off here quite yet, huh? Um, my oldest son, Blake, works at the chicken plant up here, and he's on a graveyard right now, or he was last night. And when he got off work last night at, well, early this morning, about 6 a.m., he got in his vehicle to drive home, and lo and behold, you can already see the Christmas star, and he took a picture of it and sent it to Mom and me, and he's like, Mom, you can already see it, and it's already huge. So, I can't imagine what it's going to look like December 21st. I just can't imagine that. Um, and that's so awesome. It's just unbelievable. So, y'all be sure and look at the sky. I know they say it's the best time to see it. It's just at sunset within an hour. But he got off wee hours in the morning and he still could see it. So, y'all just be looking. Look to that northwest sky and see that Christmas star, okay? Merry Christmas, y'all.